Welcome to the Wednesday preview where we look ahead to the weekend of chasing. While we don't have to wait long to see Perth Cup winner Vice Grip back in action again. He goes around in the 520 free to all at Cannington on Saturday night. We'll get to that race in a moment, but before that, I wanted to have a look at the meeting down there at Mandra on Friday night and one race and one dog in particular. We're heading towards race five, and this is a mixed four five over the 490 meter journey. As you can see, we've got a very handy field here from box one. We've got Wagtail Demon. Now, he's been a very consistent winner in his short career to date. He's won three of his past four. All of those have been over the 380-metre journey. This is his first time at Mandra and the 490. At the other end of the boxes, box seven there, we've got Pennywise. Been feast or famine for this greyhound uh, of late. He's gone one eight. 1-8 in his past four starts. A couple other dogs I like in there. Yonder up Sheila. Uh, Chloe's the boss has been there about as well. But the dog of interest to me is Floki's Revenge. And this dog's trained by Tim Gummo, who took over the reins from Eric Campana. Well, Floki's Revenge spent two months away from the track, and since he's come back in February, he's been a really improved chaser. He's won four of his past six starts, including his past three in a row. Here he is on Sunday bringing up the hat trick. He jumps from box eight here, and as we've seen previously, he's not that quick out of the traps, but he's able to work through the gears pretty swiftly, and he pushes up through the field. The leader, Daisy's boy, is a sitting duck here, Floki. Revenge zooms straight past and then extends his margin on the turn. He then holds out the late run of Incredible Pinto to cross the finish line in a time of 27.91, which is a little slower than he's gone previously, but uh, good enough to get another win here. Well, will he get that sort of time and space to work his way into the race this week? Maybe, maybe not, but if he does get a chance to wind up, he will be hard to hold out. I caught up with trainer Tim Gummo to get his thoughts on Floki's Revenge. Tim, Floki's Revenge has been really improved since he's come back from break. What's been the difference? Um, just he's always been a quick dog, as the Campana said and that, and um, just a, a bit of change in his work routine and that, and he's gone back to the ability that he's shown before when he won his city mate for Eric and that, yeah. You must be really happy with the way the dog's gone? Yeah, very happy the way the dog's gone. He's going through the grades good, and now he's finally got out of box eight to box two. Hopefully he shows a bit of speed and he can hold up and be hard to beat on Friday. What's his prospects like on Friday night? Um, I think he's got a good chance. Like he's, he's got to do a few things right, step and not get squashed up on the fence, but as you can see in his runs, if he gets a bit of room early, he probably should be hard to beat. We swing to Cannington on Saturday night. We've got some really good events across the 12 race card. Of course, we're seeing Vice Grip go around here in the 520 metre free to all. Here is the field now, and Vice Grip jumps out of box seven here. Wasn't he magnificent last week in the Perth Cup? He saved his best for the big moment, firing out to the front and running a personal best time of 29.42. Even though he's got the wide draw here, he will be the favourite here. But we've also got a couple of talented dogs that are on the comeback trail in this race. Our Seabrook has had one start in the past six months, and that was in a heat of the Perth Cup, where she ran a six. So look out for improvement for her. But what about momentum here in the pink Momentum is, of course, a really exciting young greyhound that took some time off uh, a couple of months ago to freshen up. He's had three runs back from his spell, and he's looking to recapture the form that saw him claim the Young Stars late last year. Saw some really encouraging signs from this greyhound last week when he ran second to Titan Blazer. Here he is flashing home in that race. He's just not quite able to grab the leader here. Momentum's time was 29.72. Now I spoke with Momentum's trainer Cosi D'Agostino who's really buoyant about the way the Greyhound has been progressing since his return to the track. And Cosi said it was a really encouraging run last Saturday. Expect him to be running his best times as of now. He's up against Vice Grip this week and I prefer to be drawn on the inside, but he's no slower 
than Vice Grip. Now remember the last time these two dogs met, that was back in October, Momentum beat Vice Grip. Now D'Agostino also said expect Momentum to step up to the 600 metre journey, but uh, that will be likely be after the Lou Dorsa series, which kicks off in April. That's all ahead of us on Saturday night, but before that, we've got racing here at Cannington tonight. We've got a 12 race card kicking off at 6.42, and my best bet comes in race seven, the dog jumping out of box two here, Suntory Lass. Now this dog did not fire over the 5.20 last start, but I think she'll be a lot more comfortable over the 3.80 tonight. Uh, comes into free roll company, uh, which does make things a little bit tough, but her early pace is the key here. If she's going to win this one, she's going to have to jump, uh, and I expect that she will do that tonight. Right, well that's all we've got for you. Before we go though, I'll just leave you this parting gift from my former colleague Leia Ernest as she channels Gene Simmons. You got the touch! <laughs> you got the touch!